Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. It's your boy Owa Tosin. If you are new to this channel, please don't forget to subscribe and share with your loved ones. The Lagos State Government has stayed in the business of creating a greater and a cleaner Lagos. The Lagos State Government has decided to build six flyover bridges on the Red Line Corridor to ease vehicular movement, reduce travel time, and also separate vehicular movement from train movement. This project is built to enhance connectivity and eliminate traffic in this area. What is a flyover bridge? A flyover bridge is a bridge being built over an existing road or over a body of water. Flyovers are road built on existing road junctions. The major purpose of a flyover is to reduce traffic congestion and create proper flow of traffic. These bridges are built at some strategic places, especially where there are a lot of traffic. We have six flyover bridges on the Red Line Corridor, which are the Mushin Overpass Bridge, the Oyibo Overpass Bridge, the Yaba Overpass Bridge, the Ikeja Overpass Bridge, the Agege Overpass Bridge, and the Agbado Overpass Bridge. Three out of these bridges have been commissioned and are currently being used by the public, which are the Oyibo Overpass Bridge, the Yaba Overpass Bridge, and the Agege Overpass Bridge. But today, I'll be sharing with you the newly commissioned Oyibo Overpass Bridge and the Yaba Overpass Bridge. In recent time, before the erection of this building, Yaba is a bottleneck of traffic due to the population of people in this area the major Tejo show market, the numerous vehicles that pass through this area, the red line and the Lagos Ibadan train which will be passing through this road. So the Lagos State Government came up with a beautiful idea of building a flyover bridge with a pedestrian bridge attached to it to separate vehicular movement from train movement, reduce travel time, serve as an access to connect to different areas of the state. The flyover bridge which is built right beside the BRT complex and very close to the Yaba train station, which is on the Red Line Corridor, will help Lagosians and its residents in several ways. Help to create a greater Lagos and also turn Lagos into a mega city. The Yaba Overpass Bridge is 246 meters long. Infrastructures like this will help to develop the state, beautify the state, help to create connectivities, to different areas around Yaba, like connecting Muritala Mohamed Way to Apapa Road to Oju Elegba to the Tom Melan Bridge, ETC. The Yaba Overpass Bridge is not just a functional structure but also an architectural wonder. Its modern design will enhance virtual landscape of the area. It will also enhance easy flow of goods and services and commercial activities around this area. This is Oyingo Overpass Bridge, which is one of the six bridges on the Red Line Corridor with a length of 717 meters. It is built to tackle traffic issues around Oyingo and its environment. Oyingo, which is known for its traffic issues, now, with the implementation of this project, traffic issues have been solved. Now, Lagosians and its residents can now access Oyingbo and its neighborhood easily. The Oyingbo Overpass Bridge will separate vehicular movement from train movement. It will help to reduce traffic around this area. It will enhance easy connectivity to areas around Oyingbo, such as connecting Mogitala Mohamed Way to Apapa Road. The Oyingbo Overpass Bridge will provide easy accessibility to connect areas like connecting Moritala Mohamed Way to Apapa Road, to Ijora, to Igomo, to Kostin, to Lagos Badagri Expressway, ETC. The bridge is 717 meters long. The Oyingbo Overpass is a vital infrastructure and progress in this area, which will enhance connectivity within the state. With the implementation of the pedestrian bridge which is attached to it, it will ensure the safety of pedestrians and motorists. 
it will help to eliminate accidents at railway level crossing and promote a safer environment. This will also improve the economic growth in this area, increasing easy access of goods and services within the states, and also increasing the standard of living within this area. The Oyibo Overpass Bridge is not just a functional structure, but also an architectural wonder. The modern design will enhance the virtual landscape of this area. Projects like this will enhance the movement of citizens within the state, reduce travel time, and turn Lagos into a mega city. This will bring great development to Oyibo and its residents and connect commuters from one part of the state to Oyibo and vice versa. This type of project will connect Lagosians and its residents to their church, mocks, workplace, etc. easily without needing to face any form of traffic. The Oyibo Overpass Bridge, which is built very close to the Oyibo Overpass Bridge, which is one of the stations on the Red Line Corridor, the bridge will separate vehicular movement from train movement. It will help easy flow of traffic. It will allow Lagosians and its residents to cross the rail track without having to stop at any point in time. The Oyibo Overpass Bridge is a major development in Lagos and it will help to reduce traffic congestion within the states. These are some of the advantages of having a flyover in our environment. One, it will help in traffic management. Two, it will help to link different places together. Three, it will help to eliminate traffic jam. Four, it will improve pedestrian safety. Five, it will provide more space for vehicle to navigate the state, etc. Thanks for watching this video up to this extent. If you love this video, please don't forget to subscribe and share with your loved ones. We'll meet in the next one. Peace.